our prime minister launched 5g services in india on 1st october 2022 from india mobile congress which was held in delhi subsequently airtel and jio have launched 5g services in various cities and town and they are further rolling it out in other cities all of us are thinking about what new features and benefits 5g may bring for us is it just an upgrade from 4g services or something more let us understand the learning objective of this module is to explain the 5g usage scenarios and 5g radio key capabilities to support the envisaged usage scenarios as defined by international telecommunication union itu and its vision document for imt 2020 that is 5g after completing this module learners will be able to understand 5g usage scenarios which includes enhanced mobile broadband ultra reliable and low latency communications and massive machine type communications we will also understand corresponding key performance requirement of 5g radio such as peak data rate peak spectral efficiency mobility user experience data rate latency reliability connection density energy efficiency and so on itu defined 5g usage scenarios international telecommunication unions itu sets the vision and requirement of upcoming mobile technology after consultation with its members which includes more than 190 countries industries academia etc in respect of 5g itu had set the vision and requirement of 5g way back in year 2015 the itu defined 5g usage scenarios are enhanced mobile broadband embb ultra reliable low latency communications urllc and massive machine type communications mmtc once vision and requirement of upcoming mobile technology is released by itu standard developing organizations sdos like 3gpp itc or our own india's tsdsi they start working on the candidate technology and specifications for the same out of all these sdos 3gpp has become de facto sdo for mobile technology from 3g onwards 5g enhanced mobile broadband embb itu had envisioned embb as one of the usage scenario the corresponding technical performance requirement of the 5g radio or air interface were defined in terms of peak data rate spectral efficiency user experience data rate and mobility let us have a look on these performance parameters peak data rate the requirement of peak data rate is set to 20 gbps for download and 10 gbps for upload when we use youtube or see netflix we download when we post our pictures or video on social media we upload so that means we'll be able to download a movie in a few seconds this data rate is 20 times better than 4g however actual data rate which we can use on 5g will depend on many factors like how many base stations are installed by telecom operator how much spectrum or frequency bandwidth is deployed by them how many users are simultaneously using the network usage pattern and so on we can expect that whatever our experience we have with 4g today it may improve up to 20 times better peak spectral efficiency for embb 
the spectral efficiency is defined as data rate per hertz of the frequency itu has set requirement of 30 bit per second per hertz for downlink and 15 bit per second per hertz for uplink what it means is that in case and mobile operator has 100 megahertz of frequency bandwidth deployed the peak data rate can go up to 3 gbps however to achieve a peak data rate of 20 gbps as envisaged by itu operators are required to deploy minimum of about 700 megahertz of frequency bandwidth prior to present spectrum auction operators in india were having on an average 40 to 50 megahertz of spectrum in each LSA. Recently, all operators have acquired sufficient spectrum for 5G. It is expected that they will be able to offer various 5G use cases. The spectral efficiency of 5G is three times better than 4G. User experience data rate you might have experienced that when you are near to a mobile tower you get good data rate and when you are away from mobile tower your data rate is low itu has envisioned that even if you are on edge of a network far away from the network you should at least get 100 megabit per second in downlink and 50 megabit per second in uplink this is a kind of guaranteed data rate one should expect even if we are at the edge of the 5g network and this is 10 times faster compared to 4g at the edge of the network however operators need to deploy a sufficient number of towers spectrum backhaul etc to meet uh, such kind of user experience data rate mobility we use our mobile when we are on move and our mobile still works in fact our mobile hands over from one tower to other tower available in the route this becomes very complex when speed of our movement goes higher and in that case, it has to hand over the call to best tower en route very frequently without disturbing our call or data which we are using. 4G supports up to 350 km per hour of speed. That means our 4G continues to work even if you are traveling at a speed of 350 km per hour, beyond which 4G mobile will not work. You might have heard that bullet trains are being introduced in India very soon <clears throat> and the speed of bullet train may go up to 500 km per hour. To support such scenarios, ITU has envisioned that 5G should work in a moving train uh, running even at the speed of 500 km per hour. So that means mobile will even work in bullet trains. So let us summarize the key performance requirement of 5G radio to support enhanced mobile broadband. Peak data rate should be 20 Gbps in downlink direction and 10 Gbps in uplink direction. Peak spectral efficiency should be 30 bit per second per hertz in downlink 15 bit per hertz per second per hertz 15 bit per second per hertz in uplink direction user experience data rate 100 mbps in downlink and 50 mbps in uplink mobility has to be supported up to 500 km per hour EMBB use cases. The EMBB will enable use cases such as ultra high definition video telepresence, 
the demanding conditions like a stadium where people sitting inside the stadium will take pictures videos of the match and will upload on various social media so very high data rate requirement ultra high definition video streaming and virtual reality augmented reality mixed reality kind of services the second use scenario of 5g as defined by itu is ultra reliable low latency communications the high data rate may not be good enough for many services for example if there is delay in our voice call it will be very annoying you might have noticed delay in conversation between a tv reporter from field talking to tv anchor in studio this happens because of the delay due to the satellite another example is if a doctor is performing a surgery from remote location and if there is any delay that delay may be life threatening for the patient if there is a self driving car any delay in communication may result into collision with other vehicles in addition availability of the network all the time is also very very important this makes requirement of ultra reliability and low latency communications very important for such applications latency itu has envisioned latency requirement of 1 millisecond for urllc use cases this means that certain amount of data will reach from one end to other end within 1 millisecond let us compare it with response time of our eyes when someone throws any object towards our eye our eye closes itself do you know how much time our eyes takes to react or close our eyes it takes about 200 to 300 millisecond compare this with latency of 5g for urllc which is 1 millisecond so that means 5g latency is much superior to human eye reliability reliability of the 5g network has to be ultra reliable as per 3gpp the data error rate defined for 5g urllc kind of use cases is 10 to the power minus 6 that means one bit of data error can be tolerated out of 10 lakh bit transmitted this can further be translated into percentage availability and reliability which comes to 99.99949 percentages that means 69 kind of reliability we are talking about mobility interruption when we move from one tower to other tower while on data call or on voice call our call is handed over from one base station to other base station on our route of travel there may be mobility interruption during the handover from one tower or one bts to other bts for 5g mobility interruption defined is 0 millisecond that means the network will make a session for, uh, with the next base station before it breaks from the previous base station make before break that's why the mobility interruption supported has to be 0 millisecond that means there should not be any delay while handing over from one base station to other base station let us summarize 5g radio key performance requirement to support urllc type of services user plane latency has to be 1 millisecond for urllc reliability has to be ultra reliable or 10 to the power minus 6 
बिट रेट और बिट एरर रेट और इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज इट इज 99.9999 परसेंटेज मोबिलिटी इंटरप्शन हैज टू बी जीरो मिली सेकेंड सम ऑफ द यूज केसेस बेस्ड ऑन यू आर एल एल सी यूसेज सिनारियो आर ऑटोनोमस व्हीकल रोबोटिक्स इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन एविएशन एंड सो ऑन मैसिव मशीन टाइप कम्युनिकेशन मोबाइल टेक्नोलॉजीज फ्रॉम टू जी थ्री जी एंड फोर जी they all were designed to support human communication that is mobile communication but 5g has been designed not only for human but also for machines objects things going forward with 5g all the objects machines and things around us will get connected to 5g this will enable lot of use cases related to agriculture use of iot in smart factories and so on this will require a very very high density of the connection large number of such machines objects has to be connected in addition there will be requirement of energy efficiency as we have to connect iot sensors installed in a very very remote area agricultural field which has to operate for a longer period of time without electricity and without charging the battery which is which may be in built let us look at these requirements for 5g new radio connection density itu has envisioned to support 10 lakh devices per square kilometer in a 5g network this will suffice the requirement of machines objects things which are which are to be connected on 5g network and which will enable use cases in agriculture smart city industry etc energy efficiency why energy efficiency is very important in case of massive machine type communications it is important that the 5g network as well as the iot devices has to be energy efficient all because these iot sensors have to be installed in a very very remote area for example if a sensor which can detect a disaster has to be installed these sensors will be installed in a remote areas hilly area etc where there may not be electricity these iot sensors have to be operated with battery powered and there will not be any opportunity to recharge those battery hence the battery life has to be 10 years 15 years to support such battery life iot sensors not only the device a sensor device but also the communication with the 5g tower has to be very very energy efficient so 5g network has to support efficient data transmission in a loaded case that means when there is a huge traffic going on on a base station in that case also it has to be very efficient and also there has to be low energy consumption when there is no data on a base station it is said that 5g is 100 times more energy efficient compared to 4g and that's why 5g is also being called a green technology let us summarize 5g new radio ki performance requirement to support mmtc 
the first one is connection density ITU has envisioned to support up to 10 lakh devices per square kilometer. The second is energy efficiency. The base station or the 5G network has to support efficient data transmission in a loaded case and low energy consumption when there is no data. The possible use cases of MMTC are smart cities, wearable or fitness devices which we wear, smart homes, remote sensors and actuators in agricultural field etc.